And so um, this is really important information because it really takes down that whole idea of pesco vegetarian being an option. Maybe it was 30 years ago when it actually looked good in some of the studies, Adventist health studies, pesco vegetarian didn't have much less risk factors, but they had less death rate than omnivores. Okay. Well, now it's probably not going to be the, the truth because of the plastics. Okay. Back to red meat. Um, I wanted to point out that uh, that there is certain association between red meat consumption and heart failure. And the more you eat, the more uh, heart failure you have and the more death you have from the heart failure, again, with the TMAO levels. The dietary patterns in people who have heart failure um, have actually been looked at. And after hospitalization for heart failure, the people who adhere to a plant-based diet have a dramatic reduction uh, in future heart failure episodes. Now, we talked about fish, we talked about red meat, processed red meat. Let's talk about eggs for a moment. So this is a, there's a lot of data. And uh, this is thrown back into the controversy uh, because of uh, a, you might've seen some of the late press about the American College of Cardiology meeting. Two days ago, an abstract was presented saying that um, if you do a highly fortified egg, that it does not raise your cholesterol. I had actually seen some of that data and, and I talked to the lead investigator uh, today. Um, obviously, it wasn't a comfortable conversation uh, because I led with every uh, the Neil Barnard principle, which is that every time the egg uh, board or egg industry sponsors a trial, it comes up neutral or good looking for eggs. Um, the investigator took umbrage at what I said to her. <laughs> I could say that, um, but uh, it was, you know, she, she was convinced that it was done honestly. So what I wanted to point out, okay, so maybe she did find a population <laughs> where the um, where the uh, cholesterol was not hurt so much by the eggs, but it's more than just cholesterol. This is mortality, and this is Don Lloyd Jones, and I know uh, he became uh, famous at Northwestern. Phil Greenland, wonderful investigators at Northwestern, and what they're basically saying, uh, and this was published by the way when um, Don Lloyd Jones was president of the American Art Association, taking and the AHA, probably not with his consent, was taking egg board uh, support according to their industry partnerships. Um, but bottom line is he outed them saying that each additional half an egg increased significantly uh, mortality. You can see that uh, death just goes up the more eggs you eat. So the criticism that that was a phenomenon of, um, of uh, Americans not being able to deconvolve eating eggs with bacon or eating eggs you know, on an English muffin uh, with refined grains. Well, or Canadian, well, how about this? The Italians did the same study and they basically said, found the same thing. Greater than four eggs, which again, it would be about a, um, a half an egg per week, I'm sorry, per day, um, increased all-cause mortality, including cancer, uh, as well as cardiovascular disease. So telling us that the uh, cholesterol was not increased uh, substantially doesn't really answer the question of whether or not people are going to die anyway uh, from cancer or other causes. So, uh, so we talked about fish, we talked about red meat, processed red meat, and we talked about eggs. Well, it's, what we're basically saying, uh, reading the literature, is that if you look at nurses' health study and health professional follow-up, which is the first one to talk about this, that any association of animal protein uh, uh, versus plant protein with death rate, any analysis comes up this pretty much the same. That is, if you just were to um, remove 3% of your animal protein and substitute it with vegetable protein, you would see a decrease in death rate. Now, I'm going to blow up that the top two areas for you. And what you see is that um, that 3% changing from red meat uh, or changing uh, to plant-based protein 
you still would die about 6% less because I know you all remember how to read a hazard ratio. And fish was about the same, okay? Though fish and, and poultry were a little safer than dairy. Dairy was safer than red meat. Red meat was safer than eggs and eggs were safer than processed red meat. Now, the interesting thing is that Journal of American Medical Association published the same title three years later, but it was not the same study. This one was actually from Japan. It wasn't American uh, doctors and nurses. Uh, and it basically showed the same thing. That is, if you want to avoid cardiovascular disease, especially substitute vegetable protein for any of these animal proteins. Did they really publish the same title three times? Yeah, they did. So this is uh, 2020, uh, right? Analysis of the NIH AARP. And what they showed very clearly is that any animal source of protein increased your death rate. And they did all kinds of uh, analyses, red meat giving all these different diseases, uh, egg protein, all these different diseases, everything that uh, is more is less than 0.05 is considered uh, significant. So not infection, but everything else on the plant on uh, on the page was related to eating egg protein. So until folks they can talk about cholesterol, but until they talk about death and disease, we really can't have a conversation about how safe eggs are. We do have uh, uh, confirmatory data that was published even a year later talking about uh, prospective analysis of death uh, with protein sources and eggs are bad, processed meat, dairy is bad, um, unprocessed meat, red meat, all bad. The best thing for you is plant prost, uh, protein, inversely re related to all cause mortality. So the more plants you eat, the less particularly cardiovascular disease. So uh, at this point, I want to just do another one of my little tangents because I have so many cardiology buddies who have bought into recommending a uh, Mediterranean diet. And DASH is great getting rid of sodium, but I already mentioned that you do much better. Um, uh, you know, yes, it's good to have potassium, calcium, magnesium, okay, and getting rid of saturated fat. <clears throat> but when you're eating the fish and poultry that are in the DASH diet or in the Mediterranean diet, you're still having more cardiovascular disease than you should. So this is the famous PREDIMED trial that showed beyond a reasonable doubt that Mediterranean diet was going to decrease heart attack, stroke, and death. But I want to show you, is that really what it showed? You'll see this graph if you, you know, listen to any physicians talk about diet. They'll show you this graph and say the people who are in the control diet that contained the red meat uh, versus the ones who were randomized to the Mediterranean diet, getting rid of most of the red meat um, and eating mostly fish, occasional poultry. And they divided that group into um, people who were given supplemental nuts they had to eat and people who were given extra virgin olive oil. And it looks really good. It looks like a 30% decrease in heart attack, stroke, and death. The problem is that's not what happened. And it was right in table three. They made it very clear that that 30% reduction was basically a reduction in the number of people who had a stroke. Okay? So that is the take-home point. If you want to avoid a stroke, stop eating red meat uh, and substitute it with fish. Okay? The problem is myocardial infarction that is a heart attack, was the same in all three groups. Death from cardiovascular cause, the same in all three groups. Death from any cause, which is probably the most important thing, you could have stopped right there, it was the same in all three groups. So changing from red meat to fish did not, start, did not stop any heart attacks, did not stop cardiovascular death, and didn't stop death overall. So why would we as cardiologists ever recommend it I can understand if a neurologist said, you know, you know, heart attack, you'll get a stent, uh, death, you're gone, your family's angry, but you're okay. Uh, it's, uh, but a stroke is disabling, it changes your life. We're going to do everything to avoid a stroke. Uh, and so I'm going to recommend Mediterranean diet. I can see a little bit of logic in that, but certainly not from cardiology because there's no data to support it. Now, I also asked these wonderful investigators who did a wonderful study 
why don't you just do plants? And they actually did. And they published it um, uh, a couple of years later where they did took all of their 7,000 people and divided them into five uh, groups, so-called quintiles, based on how much vegetables they were actually eating. And the answer was, if you were in those top quintiles eating more vegetables and less animal pro protein, <clears throat> it was about a 40 to 42% decrease in death rate. So more plants, less death. 